We're all packed up. We got our dinner. Okay, we're gonna give you a little tour. You guys, we're in the van! Our first stop. Wow. All right, we are all packed up. The nerves are kicking in. We're trying to make sure that we have everything. We're taking just one checked bag and then we were just gonna do one carry-on and personal backpacks, but then last minute I was like, let's just take another carry-on because you don't have to pay for it. And if we get things there, and we're just pretty tight on space with our checked bag. So we added on another carry-on, which makes me feel a little bit better. But now I just don't wanna forget anything. All right, we're on the road. Oh my gosh. We're on our way to the Raleigh airport. I can feel my heart beating. Oh, yeah. We're getting our food. We got our dinner. We're just gonna eat on the plane though because we're starting to board. sprinted through like the entire airport and I'm dying. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we've just checked in to the Best Western Plus in Bozeman, and it is so flipping nice. Like, I am just, oh, I'm so glad. It's probably just gonna be so comfy. I cannot wait to get to bed. So I will show you guys the room we're staying in, and this place is just like huge. Here we are, we're getting on the elevator. Okay, we're gonna give you a little tour of our room. So right when you come in, you have the shower, little bathroom area, and then the sink and then and here is like a living room look at how nice this is a desk and then that's actually a sleeper sofa which is so nice and then you come back here and here's the bedroom like oh my gosh i need to find the light but here's the bedroom Oh my gosh, and it even has a little note. Welcome, enjoy your stay with us. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. Good morning, you guys. We're gonna go head to see how the breakfast is. The view from the hotel. They have a casino. Brett's glad that we don't have time for me to go in there, otherwise I'd win all the money. <laughs> it's called the Club Tavern and Grill. While we're waiting on our breakfast to come, I'm gonna explore and show you guys how big and nice this hotel is. I look at all this and then wait for it. It is an indoor pool. Phone eats first. Look at how gigantic this pancake is. Yum. Yummy. All right, we just had our breakfast. It was so good. Our bellies are now full and we're gonna get our suitcases because the van people are here to pick us up. Yeah, I didn't realize how much they like. This is our van. We are about to head off. We just did our whole orientation, so. Guys, we're in the van! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've heard I can't even believe it. Wow. Ah, look at us! Our first stop is going to the grocery store so that we can stock this bad boy. Welcome to our crib. Ah. Here she is in all our glory. Let's go get some groceries. have our groceries, now we're gonna go load them up in the van. And then we're gonna be on our way to Yellowstone. 
there's actually a lot of room for snacks. So I went ahead and put just like all of our snacks up here. I'm about to put some of this in the fridge and a little bit more of that. But we do have some things in the fridge now. All right, groceries are all loaded up and now we're gonna head to Yellowstone. We took a little pit stop because we need to get bear spray. So we're gonna go in and see if they have it. We pulled over because this is just too beautiful. Oh my gosh, what'd you think? Beautiful. Hey, we're exploring. We're going through, what's the place called? Garden, Gardner, Gardner. Gardner something. Oh, Gardener something, okay. We're going through this little town. We are like four minutes away from the north entrance of Yellowstone. Hey you guys, we just got to the north entrance. We're gonna show them our pass because that came with this rental, which is amazing. So we get to go to all the national parks for a whole year for free. So here we go. Here's our little visitor guide and a map. I think we're gonna head to Mammoth Hot Springs. Woohoo! We just found a parking spot. Now we're gonna go see Mammoth Hot Springs. We just packed some lunches, made some sandwiches. Now we're getting ready to go on our first little adventure. Our first stop at Mammoth Hot Springs. Our view from our hike. We are now going to go into the Yellowstone General Store. It's pretty hot out, so we're going to eat in the car and make our way to Lamar Valley where the animals are. Yep. Oh my gosh. Look at the guardrail. It's literally, there's no concrete, just that metal thing. Ooh, we are so high up right now. We're checking out the first waterfall. It's so beautiful. So we were driving by this area and there's a ton of people stopped and like a ranger. And this is apparently a popular bear area. So we got our binoculars. We're about to go see if we can see a bear. I think we're about to see a bear. Oh my gosh. We got to see a baby cub and the mama. I didn't really get any good pictures of it or anything, but we're now taking this like dirt road. It's like seven miles. Apparently you can see some good wildlife, so we're gonna try it out. Here's the dirt road we're going on. Got the binoculars. In case you see any wildlife. We sadly didn't see any animals on that like off-roading thing, but now we're going into Lamar Valley and this is supposed to be like kind of the sightseeing spot for animals so we are heading in there now and we're hoping we see some more animals we see a bison hey look at the bison wow hello little guy big guy okay yeah let's go we just saw bison on my side and now is that one or two of them uh, i don't know we guess we'll find out we see some more up here on front side just people. Oh my gosh, it's just people. Wait, what are they looking at? We have decided to venture out of the van and go look since it looks like it's farther away. Yes. There he is with those binoculars. He's all ready. Right there. Like we're about to go feel the river to see if it's cold. Mm. Or it's actually a creek. Oh yeah. How'd they get across? We 
are now going to check out, I think it's called Calcite Springs. Here it is. Look at that. Wow. Alright, we've made it here. Here we are. Beautiful. It is so pretty, you can hear the water. It's amazing. This looks so crazy. It just keeps on going. I don't know about you, Brett, but that may have been one of the coolest things we've seen today. Yeah. Gosh, we've seen so many cool things. <laughs> I don't even know how to make a list. <laughs> we found this cute little store and has ice cream. We are now at the Lower Falls, Tower Falls, something. We didn't get ice cream, but we did get these sticker pack. Look how cool that is. It's going to be for our scrapbook. Uh, we are hiking our next hike to Lower Brink Falls, right? Is that what it's called? Yep. And man, this is, this is painful for the news. Holy cow. It just like, just falls right there. Oh my gosh. We are going to get dinner. It's 7:19. We're gonna check out both places because there's two different ones, and we'll see. But man, it's getting cooler outside, and it feels we're so hungry. much better. <laughs> and we're starving. <laughs> Here's the Canyon Lodge. This is our campground little area for night one. It has dining, lounging gifts. Here's the cool dining area. doing a little bit of K and W action and we are excited. Look at how delicious. Oh my gosh. I of course had to get some ice cream for me. Going to the campground. We're at Canyon tonight. Have some tent people over there. They're brave. We did just find out that there's two bears that roam around here, so it's a little scary. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of our little van. So obviously here's the front where we were sitting. Here's the sliding door. This is a table that comes down in our mini fridge. And then this isn't the cleanest right now, so. Here's a little kitchen table. These actually swing around, which is awesome. And then we have like storage, more storage. Here's kind of like the kitchen area. So all these are drawers. And then there's some extra things we put in the sink. And then we have the bathroom. Do I have the bathroom? It can also be used as storage. You can shower and everything in there. Back here, our bed is currently raised. So I'll show you what it looks like at night. So right now we just kind of have all of our stuff back here and then there's like the back door so has a good amount of storage honestly and you can just walk right here here's our little setup brett is getting our fire going we have this nice little picnic table area and fire pit then over there's our camper van We love it. And it even has like this mesh stuff so that bugs won't get in it. Oh, this is so fun. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little s'mores plate for us so that we can do our s'mores by the fire. We only have like 30 to 40 minutes left of the fire because we have to shower and showers close at 9.30. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and do s'mores. Look at our little s'mores. 
Here's our whole little campsite. All right, Brett's back here, chilling in our bedroom. Here it is, made it up. So we're living the van life. Yeah, and uh... It's been an interesting night trying to get everything set up. <laughs> There's a few things we can't quite figure out. Yeah. Like how to turn the seats around without them, without opening the doors, which I'm not sure if that's even possible. We'll see. Yeah, so now that's why we're sitting so close on this little exactly. bench. We're trying to beat it close. And we're going to play a game of Yahtzee. I don't even know what time it is, but we'll probably go to bed after this because we are so tired, but we want to do something fun before bed, so... We'll see who wins. Good morning, you guys. It is 7.08. We got up around 6.45. We were planning to get up earlier than that, but we were just so tired from yesterday. I just couldn't get up. But we slept so good. And now we're kind of just getting ready for the day. So we, are, I think, are going to cook breakfast over our little grill. Um, once we get brackets back, but when you look at our schedule, we don't really remember what we have planned out for today. We want to make sure we give ourselves enough time. We're like going to a completely different campground and everything tonight. Like it's going to be fun. Um, we're kind of traveling to like the other side of Yellowstone today. So we are excited. Um, but yeah, can't wait to you guys with us. Brett is over here setting up our little grill. Here's our breakfast. We got our bacon. Now we're making some eggs. The mosquitoes are out to play. Also, I do want to say we're using Black Sword RV rentals and they really thought of everything. Like they give you your own set of like cooking utensils, like everything you need. So I highly recommend using them if you're ever out here in the Bozeman area and you're coming to national parks because we would definitely use them again. Here we go. All right, we are off to Artist Point to hike. Um, it's 8.10 and this is supposed to be like a really pretty morning hike. So that's why we're doing it this morning and then we're heading down to another part of Yellowstone today. I'm so excited. We're sitting literally on the opposite side at a different campground tonight. So we're kind of making our way through. Oh, wow. 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 It's actually called Artist Point. Oh, look how dirty our thing is. Our map? I'm also reading the map. No, our windshield wiper. Our windshield. I'm also reading the map. It's very confusing. It's Wapiti Lake. What's that? But we're going to Artist Point. This is what's on this side. We just saw that artist point and it was so beautiful. And now we're headed to Norris Geyser, which is so funny because if you don't know, that's my maiden name is Norris. So we keep messing and saying this is my geyser. But I'm going to just like braid my hair so it's out of the way and it doesn't get so tingly like it did yesterday. Brett is getting gas and we have a full day ahead of us. We're going to Norris Geyser and then doing more hiking today than yesterday. Um, it's been like 45 to 50 this morning. So that's why we have long sweatpants and sweatshirts, but it is supposed to get pretty warm. We are now on our way to see Norris Basin. Here we go. Isn't that cool? How cool is this? Oh my gosh. Hazardous thermal. Oh, what the? Here we have Crater Spring. We're looking at all these guys, isn't it so cool? Yeah, they're amazing. We have little Vixen right here. 
We're here. This is crazy. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. The water's kind of warm. In the oh, backpack. It gets cold quick. It's just <laughs> ice is at the top and it sucks from the bottom. We are hiking to the artist pig pots. Mm -hmm. Back there, you can see the mountains. Look at that. <laughs> Here we have a white one. Like paint. <laughs> Here we are at the top. We actually took a little pit stop and we're gonna look at Gibbons Falls. I'm getting a little hungry. Hangry. Look how beautiful. Now we're gonna go look at the waterfall part of it. Here it is. Look at that. We stopped right here on the side of the road to eat some lunch. Here is our lunch for today and the van, the view. We are now checking out the fountain paint pots. It looks pretty cool already. So. <laughs> Here's the fountain paint pots. You can see them bubbling over there. Look at Here are these geysers. We're now somewhere else, but I can't remember the name. Here we are, Grand Prismatic. We are now going on an actual hike, according to Brett. I'm having some grips <laughs> to fuel up, and this is called Fairy Falls. And we're gonna see a really cool view of the Grand Prismatic Spring from above, which is highly recommended. So we're gonna get some good pictures. And it's 91 degrees. Okay, we just went to the overlook. It was beautiful. I'm definitely tired. Um, but now we're gonna go look at the Fairy Falls something. There's a short one and a long one. We don't know which one we're gonna do yet. We just wanna get there as soon as possible. We just wanna get there and hopefully not get attacked by a bear. Yeah. We do have the bear spirit locked and loaded. Well, not loaded, but. It is long. Loaded, okay. Here we go. At least this is downhill. <laughs> but you know what that means. It means we're gonna have to come up at it at some point. Actually, no, we have to do that. It's flat down there. Oh, good. Never, mind. never mind. Never mind. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so far, we made it, you guys. It was a close call there. Alive, but I'm here we are folks. It's actually five miles. I just turned it off on accident. Alright, we've made it to West Yellowstone where we're staying tonight. And this town is super cool. You can see the mountains in the background. That's the nicest McDonald's I've ever seen. Where is it? 
Oh, there's a really nice McDonald's over there. McFlurry may be really good after this. I got a woohoo. Going to our campground for night two. All right, we are here. It's starting to rain a little bit, but this is a completely different vibe than last night, if you can kind of see. It's very... In the city. In the city. <laughs> it is thundering so loud. Oh, I'm going into the store. Okay, Where we, we just checked in and we got like the best spot on the whole campground. Like we're right here and then right there are the showers and bathrooms. Oh, there's a playground over there. You know, if it wasn't raining, we could go play on the playground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, we lucked out since it's raining right now. Hopefully it's only supposed to be raining for another like 30 minutes. So I think we may just like chill and then go to dinner. Hopefully it clears up um, soon so we can go. It's like thundering and lightning, but I do think it's gonna be just a quick little shower. Dinner was so good. Now we're rushing to get ice cream for me because I of course need to have it. These are the outhouses or like the restrooms, so sinks. And there's like a row of bathrooms. And then back here are the showers. Remember? Yeah, the not so pretty side. Trying to figure out how to use all of these yeah. things. <laughs> it's easy once you know how to do it. It's easy. If, once if you look, you know how to look for a hose. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good morning, you guys. A little update. We got the AC working and everything, and we were able to figure out the whole dump station stuff. So, yay! A little breakfast for today. At Mickey D's. All right, a little update. We are booking into Old Faithful because it is predicted to erupt in like 10 minutes and we don't want to miss it. So 15 pitch. And so we went to Black Sand Basin, but we were like, we'll come back to that so we can see Old Faithful. So we're here now, we're pulling in and we're going to rush there so we can hopefully see it. Here we are. Here's how many people are waiting for us. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Here's a beehive. We just saw Old Faithful and Beehive, and now we're just walking the loop to see all yep. the other ones. Be beehive is the third highest one in the world, apparently. Yeah, crazy. This is called the Grand Geyser. World's tallest predictable geyser. Yeah. We're hoping it gets higher. It goes like 150 feet. It just went off. Oh my gosh. Did you see that water? We got some souvenirs. Now we're going to go look at the Yellowstone General Store and see if we can find a t-shirt or something. A gift. But I am thirsty. Yeah, same. We forgot water. We yeah. We, gonna, we thought we were just going to get the Old, or, uh, old Faithful and watch that. We ended up hiking the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. But we got, it was worth it. Yeah. We are on our way to West Thumb Basin and it says it's going to take us three hours and it's only 18 miles, but we lucked out, I think and we were the last car that was able to go through the one, the the one way. Zone. So zone, yeah. we'll see, I'll keep you updated. It is 1246. It says we're gonna get there at three something. All right, it's 117. So how long did that take us, Brett? Mm, 45 minutes. 45 minutes, not three hours though. So not bad at all. Not bad, we're gonna fix some lunch now. Having a little picnic. Lunch. We just finished lunch and it started spring thinning a little bit. So we're going to see if the rain will stop before we go on the trails here at West Thumb Basin. And also tonight we're going to a rodeo. So that's super exciting. Oh, yeah. All right. We are out here at the West Thumb Basin. And after the rain, after the rain here's a little map. We're just going to walk 
We just came in here. We're gonna go zoop, 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 all the way around. It looks so pretty. So we think it's about to pour. So we put our ponchos on that I got us. But here's our first stop, the paint pots. I just get struck by lightning. Don't say that. <laughs> we look dumb because we're fed from rain, but oh wait. Here's Blackpool and it's so blue. And that what you hear is my poncho in the wind. It looks really bad that way. You can hear the thunder, but then it just like the sun came out over here. So we're, I guess we'll see. We are now checking out the Natural Bridge Trail. Oh. Brett is trying to keep the bears away. I am. Uh, it's a 0.9 mile hike. It and is. It is raining a little bit. It is. So a little chilly. I got my jacket on. But we'll see. We don't know what to expect. We haven't seen any yep. pictures of this place. So That's true. It'll be exciting. Here's a little map. And it's right up here. Up there. That's cool. There's Brett. <laughs> Wave! I'm a little scared about a bear, so now I'll have the bear spray. And we're gonna head back. <sighs> we are now on our way to our next campground. It's called Fishing... Fishing Bridge Camp. Fishing Bridge Campground. We just did that hike. We're gonna get eaten by a bear, so that's positive. It seemed a little sketchy there. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I think we saw some bear poop. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's bear poop. Huh? Yeah. It was a little scary. Yeah, right here. We found our spot for tonight. We are the closest thing again. We're at A1, and now we are heading to Cody to go to the rodeo. Here's this view. Wow. All right, we're right here beside this gigantic mountain. And we're gonna go through this tunnel. Yeah, we're going to Cody. We should be there really soon, so let's see what inside the tunnel looks like. <laughs> we made it to the rodeo! We just made it to the rodeo! I'm so excited. Watch out, Judge! 